Uh, there was no sex in the school. This was a boys' school. It was run by Zaverian brothers with white collars and black soutans. And they were dead against sex. If you had lust in your heart, you went to hell. But the job of this school was to repress sex. Sex was a terrible thing. Again, all the books we read in school were about sex. Shakespeare was about sex. Homer, Virgil, all these were about sex. So there's always this perpetual fight, perpetual conflict mm. between one's natural instincts and what was expressed in literature and in the language itself. Well, that's what we were taught. I mean, at the church I went to, you could buy a penny, a penny pamphlet uh, called Sex and the Catholic Family. And uh, the first words were, uh, sex is a good and holy thing and pleasure in sex is an admirable thing if sex is devoted to the procreation of mm. children. But sex as an end in itself is evil and uh, the easiest way to condemn yourself to eternal punishment is to regard sex as an end in itself. It's mm. taken me a long, long time to realize that that's probably wrong. About it. Guilt! Guilt! Guilt is terrible. I mean, it was bad enough as a child at the Billsborough Memorial School um, feeling guilty about eating meat on a Friday or being late for mass or missing my night prayers. But when sex came into the picture, the guilt was tremendous. And I think I've spent my entire career as a writer trying to work off this guilt. At the age of 70, it's getting a bit late now to think in terms of guilt at all, but the guilt is still there. Oh, well, if you feel guilty about feeling guilty about feeling guilty. I mean, it's an endless, it's a Chinese box. But uh, sooner or later, one has to realize, when it's too late, that you can't build your life on guilt. But on the other hand, I think you make art out of guilt. I think uh. guilt is a great dynamo. And it is one of the dynamos that's always pushed me in the direction of uh. producing literature. So I can't condemn guilt altogether, and I can't condemn this place altogether.